Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be potting our first offspring of the mature American chestnut trees. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right guys, so here you have it. Right here we have our pot. I poked some holes in the bottom of it. These do work great, but this year we are doing something different. They're not as buried under there to keep the little root moist. This year we're doing something different. We're gonna be using primarily peat. This is what I was told to do by the guy I purchased chestnuts from, the guy I purchased American chestnuts from. He said he uses peat to grow them in instead of using topsoil because we have tried that now and it has failed miserably because we're not getting the growth we should get. And last year I planted two hybrids in peat and they did amazing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use peat. So right here we have about probably like 60% peat. 60% peat, uh, maybe 50% peat, no, 60% peat, or like 10% charcoal, and then the rest is soil off the top of the ground I found in the woods. We're going to use this. This should be really successful compared to what we've done before. And it's all, it's perfectly moist. It's not wet. It's just nice and moist. So this should be good right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this pot up right here and I'll be back when I get it filled up pretty good and another thing we are going to do is we are going to put the nut down in here probably about that much so it's covered up enough so when you water it it's not being exposed and everything like that some people just put theirs on the top of the ground but I don't like that I like the nut to be down under so in case the first the um top part of the stem when it comes down the ground if it tries to grow weird or grow at a curve or something it's under the ground enough so it's covered so under here we have our we have our american chestnut the offspring of the mature american chestnut tree and we are going to get it potted up so i'm going to take a little bit and i'm going to fill this up i don't really feel like setting the tripod up so i'm gonna just handle it and put it in there and try not to make too much of a mess on the basement floor all right guys, here we have it. We have our mixture in our pot. Now we are going to retrieve our chestnut. We're gonna put the flatter side down. You gently want to remove it without, without breaking our root. Be very gentle with it. Well, I just forgot that American chestnuts don't really have a flat side. So we're gonna let the root go where it wants. So we're gonna put it like this. So we're gonna take it like this. We're gonna, we're gonna put it like, right, like that. It's in its little, its little resting spot. Just gonna bury it over. Actually, I'm looking at this a little bit Eh, for this one, we're going to try this. No. Well, I'm going to remove this for a second. Because I believe that's a little too deep. Um, yeah, I think we'll add a little bit more before we put her in there. Because I don't want it too deep down in the soil. Okay. That looks better. Now we're going to take it. Gently pick it up. See the root on our chestnut tree this chestnut could be the whole future of the american chestnut right here just this one nut or it could be have horrible genetics and die immediately from the blight you don't know until it grows hopefully it has the blight tolerance of its parents primarily the tar tolerance of the one that's still alive <laughs> all right guys so we're gonna take it we're gonna put it right here gonna put it like that now it's in there. Now we're gonna bury it over. Well, we'll take some of this peat right here. Put it on top of it first. I just sprinkle it down in there now. It's not even painful to watch me do some things. I just do it weird ways. But you know, I'm having fun. Not to sweep after I'm done. Our 
we're gonna shake it just a little bit. Any dirt that doesn't fit in here will be used for our next video where I show you guys my stock of chestnut trees, chestnuts, that I plan to grow into trees to sell next year. Which next year, you know, is <laughs> right around the corner. And hopefully none of those have decided to sprout yet. Okay, there you guys go. With this kind of pot, this kind of watered bottle, these are perfect for growing trees. You can see how dry the dirt is the whole way down, since it's clear, and you got drain holes at the bottom. Overall, these make perfect pots. Big jugs are not good pots, but these make great pots. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I am very excited that it germinated, that it stratified and germinated, but I am a little um worried because those came, those, um, that happened a little fast, but then I'm thinking about it, I was like, I put them in the freezer, or freezer, not freezer, that would kill, them. I put them in the refrigerator a little too early, I probably should have waited a little bit, because it's a little early, we're not even in June yet, I keep making the same mistake, we're not in January yet, we're not even in January yet, usually it's February when they decide to germinate but no I put them in the fridge a little early so here we are with a little surprise so they're all going to start doing that within the next week so I got to go get some peat somewhere and start cutting into those pots cutting into those water bottles and turning them into pots but yes I'm very excited it worked our hot water bath worked we killed the worms out of the chestnuts and now we have offspring from the mature American chestnut trees and we get to grow some these trees are potentially blight tolerant. We don't know yet. We'll find out today. Today. We'll find out in the future. Guys, I'm rusty. I haven't been making videos in a long time. I haven't made barely any videos this year. But that's going to change. We'll have at least four videos out before the end of the year. So this, this one included. <laughs> All right, guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I am really excited. The GoFundMe project is working wonders this year. We've raised way over $200. Like, I'm not sure the exact number we raised, but I'll probably put it on the put it on the screen, but we raised a lot this year. My aunt donated $100. So I took that 100 and I bought two grow lights with it. And then the rest of that I'll use to buy peat. Then your guys' money has got buying the chestnuts. And we're going to take these that are bought with the GoFundMe project and we are going to breed these with the offspring of the mature American chestnut trees. If you don't know this, now you do, if you're new here. So I'm really excited. I'm really worried though, because guys, I have like a bag full of 250 Chinese chestnuts in the other room by the door. And I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping they take a little bit longer to, to germinate because <laughs> That's a lot of work and a lot of um, space to take up. I might have to start them down here in the basement because I don't have room in my room. There's already a ton of trees in there. But the money from the Chinese, that video, I think comes after this one. That money will go towards building me a tiny house. So when people buy that, they're helping me out. I'll probably post it on Marketplace or something. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for anyone who donated to the GoFundMe project. It's going well. I already have 58 chestnuts that were bought from the GoFundMe project in the fridge with more money to buy more, which I'll probably wait a little bit longer before I buy more or maybe save that money for next round next year. Or, yeah, well, next year is only like a few weeks away. Year after next. Or next fall. Yeah, next fall. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't forget to drop a like on this video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more content. And as always... Keep it electrified. I'll see you guys later. Make sure to watch some of my other videos because we are coming so close to monetization. I need 800 watch hours. All right, guys. Peace out.